good morning children today we are going to see the addition and subtraction in weight and the word uh, and the word problems in weight and the measurement of weight measurement of capacity measurement of length this all these uh, the calculation part is the same only the word you use the letter different their kilogram kilometer and kiloliter that's all the different but all the other calculation part is the same so for that uh, measurement of length i have explained in detail so here i think you need you need, you need not you no need the detailed explanation you will understand very quickly i think so let's start okay here add 137 239 uh, gram okay actually this is to 23 gram okay so 23 gram only became like 9 okay 23 gram 35 kilogram 650 gram and 400 gram so this you have to add here in addition i wanted to remind you last when i was seeing the calculation many had made a mistake so for that only i want to give a little more uh, what mistake you had made there i will give a stress okay here i told you it is in kilogram and gram so i told you to write in uh, in in their own column kilogram and gram and in uh, here we can array we can add or subtract the same unit now kilogram means kilogram only you can add with the kilogram with the kilogram you cannot add the gram okay you have to convert and add but directly you cannot add the kilogram and the gram okay that's why we are making it a separate column here kilogram and the gram so kilogram you will add with the kilogram and gram you will add with the gram okay so that you have to keep in mind some of you made uh, mixed up and written in kilogram part itself you have written the gram and you have added and some of you made a separate addition but uh, you you have made it like a two different calculation kilogram separate addition and gram separate addition somewhere kilogram is this side and gram is this side somewhere even some of you had uh, added down that way you should not do it it should be like a one table like you no know, in same place you have to add and write so that when the gram if any carryover is there we can take to the kilogram and in subtraction when you have to borrow you can borrow from kilogram to the gram so that you have to be careful okay now let's start now so kilogram and gram i have separated first here 137 kilogram so let's arrange here 137 in kilogram 137 okay and in gram here 23 gram okay 23 here only two digits are there but already i told in kilogram and gram if it comes in gram there should be three digits so we have only two digit here 23 only two digit we have so we need one more digit for that we will put zero here okay next one 35 kilogram and 650 gram so 35 kilogram and 35 when you arrange you should not arrange from here okay in kilogram this is the ones place so you have to arrange always from the ones place so 35 kilogram will come here again this side 650 gram see here 35 kilogram and 650 gram this is one me measure one unit of measurement so this together only you have to write you should not write 35 here and 650 here like that okay in addition you may not have any problem even when you change and write the order of the gram but in subtraction there will be a problem okay always write the units uh, if it is only one unit then write it in a same same line you don't write it up and down next one we have 400 gram so here 400 is a gram there is no kilogram okay this is a gram okay gram only looks like nine okay so that is the gram so 400 gram so there is no kilogram so this 400 you have to write in gram side not in kilogram so 400 i have written in gram side there is no kilogram so in kilogram side you can put zero okay so now let's minus let's add okay when you add here three there is no other number so when you add the answer will be three again two plus five here two plus five seven zero is there so zero if you add whatever maybe you add there is no change so two plus five seven 
again next we have 6 plus 4 6 plus 4 10 so in 10 0 you will write here and the 1 you will carry to the next to the kilogram place okay so that here in kilo in gram we cannot write the four digit okay so if you write here one so it will be 1053 gram so already you know 1000 gram equal to one kilogram that's why that one kilogram goes here okay that way also you can remember otherwise you remember it as a, in a way that it is carried to the kilogram place okay now next we have 7 plus 1 8 8 plus 5 13 13 plus 0 13 only so in 13, 3 you will write here and 1 you will carry here. Okay, now 1 plus 3, 4, 4 plus 3, 7. Again, 1 down. So the answer is 173, 173 kilogram, 53 gram. That 0 need not write, so you can write it this way. 173 kilogram 53 gram okay now subtraction so in subtraction also I want to give a correction as I, I had corrected the copies I found a mistake mm, uh, four, two, two or three fellows had made the same mistake so I wanted to explain here I told in subtraction you have to write the bigger number first Whatever the order is given, you have to write the bigger number first. To, so, to find which is bigger, you have to compare the bigger unit. Here, 339 kilogram, 986 gram. So, kilogram and gram. So, you have to compare only the kilogram. Understand? This, this, this together, one unit. And here, 463 kilogram, 5 gram. This is another unit. So, this two unit you have to compare. To compare and find which is bigger, you have to compare the bigger unit. So, in kilogram and gram, kilogram is the bigger one. So, kilogram only you will compare. Here, 339 kilogram and here, 463 kilogram. So, in this both, which is bigger, you have to find. So, which is bigger? 463 kilogram is bigger. So, that only you will write first. Four hundred sixty-three. I am writing first. So some of you had written like correctly here, but another you have made a mistake. You have to see only the kilogram and write the bigger one. But in gram, you will not see which is bigger or which is small. So for, with four hundred sixty-three, what gram is there? That only you have to write here. So here, what is there? Five gram. So five gram only you have to write here. But some of you again you have compared the kilo in gram. You have compared the gram in in gram. What is here? Nine hundred eighty-six gram. Here five five gram. So this both they have uh, compared and they wrote this nine hundred eighty-six is bigger. So they have written nine hundred eighty-six gram. That is wrong. In gram you will not compare and write which is bigger, which is small. Okay, since kilogram also coming, you will uh, you will see only compare the kilogram and see which is bigger and you write. After writing the kilogram. For this kilogram, how much gram is there? That only you have to write direct to that. Okay, if you write 986 gram, 986 gram, this unit is with the kilogram, with this unit, this together one unit. Okay, so this 986 you cannot bring to with this 463 kilogram. This is another unit. With that you cannot uh, bind and write here. Together you cannot write. So this 5 gram only you have to write here. So this side you will write 5 gram and 5, 5, here only one digit is there. Already I have told when kilogram and when kilogram and gram comes, gram should have 3 digits. So here 5 only one digit is there. We need 2 more digits. So that place you will put 0. So if you put 0 only you will not make mistake. Many of you, you uh, some places when you don't put 0 also you will not have a problem. But some in uh, minus most of the time you will have a problem because when you borrow here, here will, will come 9, no? So you will miss the 9 here in the answer part. Other answers will be correct that 9 will be missing because you don't write the, the digits which you are supposed to uh, put it there. Okay, you, you have to be careful. In kilogram and gram, there should be 3 digit here in gram. Okay, if any one digit is missing, then that place you put in front only, not at the back or in between. Okay, in front only you have to put. Okay, now next we have 4... Uh, 
the smaller one 339 kilogram 986 gram so 339 we will arrange in kilo kilogram 339 and 986 gram 986 gram so now we have to minus we have arranged so let's minus so here if you see here 5 is small 6 is big so you cannot minus you have to borrow nothing is here nothing is here so you have to borrow from this 3 only from 3 only you will give you cannot give directly to the 5 you can give to the next digit only so to this 0 you will give from this 0 here it will get 10 from there you will borrow here 1 then here it will be 9 then this will become 10 from this 10 you will give 1 and this will be 9 and this will be 15 okay that way only you can give okay so let's borrow here after after borrowing here 2 will remain okay and this will be 10 and from the 10 if you give 1 9 will remain and this will be 10 and from the 10 if you give 9 will remain and this will be now 15 okay so from 15 you minus 6 so if you minus 6 it will be 9 again 9 minus 8 1 again 9 minus 9 0 and here 2 and 9 you cannot minus so you will borrow here so if you borrow here there will be 5 so now 5 my uh, here it will be now it will be now 12 so 12 12 minus 9 12 minus 9 it will be now 3 again here 5 minus 3 2 5 minus 3 2 then 4 minus 3 1 so the answer is 123 kilogram 19 19 gram 123 kilogram 19 gram this is the answer okay now let's see the problem solving See here the weight of the the weight of a bed is the weight of a bed is 100 kilogram 500 gram 100 kilogram 500 gram and that of a sofa is 78 kilogram 250 gram which items weigh more how much more does it weigh so here the key word is how much more you must underline here how much more so this this is a keyword for subtraction so if this word comes not just more alone you should not check if it comes how much more this all together if it comes how much more then you have to minus so we have to minus when you minus you have to take the bigger number first so bigger one means here the weight of the object which is bigger so here which is bed bed is having 100 kilogram and the sofa is 78 kilogram so which is uh, which is weighing more bed is weighing more so from the bed the weight of the bed you will minus the weight of the sofa okay so let's minus okay first we have to write weight of the bed so weight of the bed is how much it is 100 kilogram 500 gram so 100 kilogram 500 gram again okay, next one weight of a sofa weight of a sofa is 78 kg 250 gram 78 kg and 250 gram okay now we have to minus so let's minus here 0 minus 0 0 and here we cannot minus 0 is small 5 is big so we will borrow from here 
so when you borrow here 4 will remain and that 1 will come here so this will be 10 so 10 minus 5 10 minus 5 it will be 5 again here we have 4 minus 2 4 minus 2 2 again here we have 0 and 8 we cannot minus so we have to borrow we will borrow from 1 so from 1 if you borrow here 0 will be so that 1 comes here this will be 10 so from 10 if you give 1 9 will remain and this will be now 10 so 10 minus 8 10 minus 8 you have 10 minus 8 you have 2 again we have 9 minus 7 9 minus 7 also 2 again here 0 only is there so 0 need not write so the bed is weighing more than the sofa by 22 kilogram 250 gram okay 22 kilogram 250 gram the bed of the weight weighs the bed the weight of the bed weighs okay next one Next to sum, it is a D1 I have given. Here a confectioner bought a sack of uh, 100 kg, kg of flour. He has bought a flour and he used in the 29 kg 750 gram to make double bread. Okay, uh, we have eaten bread I think. So in the, uh, you know what is bread. So double bread he made using, using 29 kg 750 gram flour again he used the rest of 20 kg 250 gram 250 gram to make buns he used for making bun now you have to find you have to find how much flour was left in the sack so how much is left so you know the word here left is left means it is minus left is the keyword for minus but here you must see that here we have Three units of measurements: uh, 20 kg, 250 kilogram; 29 kg, 750 gram; 100 kg. So there are three numbers we have, three measurements we have. But for minus, we need only two numbers. We cannot minus three numbers at a time. Okay, so you need, oh, you can minus only two numbers at a time. Since there are three numbers, so you must know that there is uh, another calculation also is there. It is not only minus. One more thing also is there. So you must know. There may be anything uh, other multiplication and division also can be there. But here in measurement you are learning only the addition and subtraction problem. So here another part is there that means addition is there. So now you must know which one to add and which one to minus. First you, you will I think you can find it which is the total amount. So here the confectioner bought 100 kg of flour. So this is the total one. So that from the total only you are going to always minus. So from here only you are going to minus. So from here you, you need another number to minus. So to find that another number remaining two you, you add it that's all. Okay first you find the total which looks like a total first you find. So other than the total remaining whatever is given you add it. You plus it that answer you minus from the total amount. Okay so here remaining thing he what he that is the one the he used for making the flour that is he used for making double bread and the bun. So we will add the uh, flour used for making double bread and the bun. These two we will add and that answer we will minus from the total flour. Okay so here. I have written here the statement he used the flour how much he has used so first he used the flour for double bread for double bread he used 29 kg 750 gram so let's arrange here 29 kg 750 gram again he used 20 kg 250 gram to make buns 20 kg 250 gram okay now this two we have to plus Okay, let's plus this one. So let's plus here. 0 plus 0, 0. 
5 plus 5, 5 plus 5, 10. So in 10, only 0 you will write here. In the 1 you will carry here. 1 you will carry here. So now 7 plus 1, 8, 8 plus 2, 10. So in 10, only 0 you will write here. 1 you will carry to the kilogram. And here 9 plus 1, 10. 10 plus 0, 0 uh, 10 only. So in 10, 0 you will write here and 1 you will carry here 1 you will carry here so now 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 2 5 so 50 kg he has used 50 kilogram of flour he has used okay so now from this this is the used flour so this one you have to minus from the total weight so the total weight is how much it is 100 kilogram total weight is 100 kilogram so there is no gram so you can put zero so i told here there should be three digits so you can you can put three zeros okay again how much the flour he has used he has used 50 kilogram of the flour so 50 kilogram and here also no gram so you can put zero so if you are uh, what to say if if you are clever enough then since only in gram zero zero is there so this kilogram part you can totally avoid you can write only the gram gram part okay kilogram part only this much writing is also okay okay so let's minus so here everything is zero in gram part so here it is zero only so just i am writing zero gram so you need not write anything there again here let's minus zero minus zero zero next you cannot minus uh, z, uh, 5 from 0 so you have to borrow okay so instead of borrowing cutting and writing directly you can minus here 10 minus 5 okay since here there is no other numbers are there so directly you can minus 10 minus 5 10 minus 5 5 so it is 50 50 kilogram okay so there is no no gram is there since there is no gram is there so just directly you can write the flower left is 50 kilogram you can finish the answer like this okay now the next one Milan bought 10 kg of sugar from the shop this much sugar he has bought when he came home he weighed the sugar again and found it less by 375 gram this much it is less now in the shop he from the shop he bought 10 kg but at home when he weighed it is only 375 gram it is less so now you have to find the present weight so here the keyword is less okay less means you have to minus this much if it is given more than you will plus since it is less is given you have to minus so this is the weight of the uh, weight of the sugar from the shop after coming here this is this much it, it looks less so from the total weight you will minus the less quantity then you will get the present weight okay let's minus he has bought for how much he has bought 10 10 kilogram okay so 10 kilogram there is no gram so we will put zero here okay and he it weighed how much it is weighed less 375 gram 375 gram it is less not a kilo a kilogram okay so 375 we will write in gram side not in kilogram side since there is no kilogram here you have to put zero in gram in kilogram place you have to put zero okay so don't write since it is given in gram and here is no gram don't write here understood this is another statement and this is another statement okay so this is a total weight how much he has bought so there is no gram so that place you have to put zero only and this is how much it is less so that you have to write in with that statement here only you have to write this gram don't write it here mix up and write it here so since it is less this much is less so you have to minus so the to find the present weight you have to minus so let's minus now You cannot minus here 5 is big 0 is small so to borrow you have to all the way you have to go to 1 because everywhere 0 is there so from 1 you will borrow and give to the next digit from there again you will borrow and give to the next digit like that this will continue 
okay from 1 if you give 0 will remain so this will be now 10 so from 10 again you will give 1 9 will remain and this will become 10 from 10 if you give 1 9 will remain and this will be 10 from 10 if you give 9 will remain and now this will be 10 okay so now we have 10 and 5 you can minus now 10 minus 5 10 minus 5 5 again here 9 minus 7 2 again here 9 minus 3 6 again here we have nothing is left here 0 is there so 9 minus 0 9 only so 9 so the present weight of the sugar is 9 kg 625 gram this is the present weight of the sugar Next one, Sahil bought 10 kg of mangoes. So this is the total weight of the mango, how much he has bought and he is using the mangoes. Okay, this looks like the same like the D sum, the same way only it is. He used the mango. 2 kg 375 gram for making mango juice 2 kg 375 gram he used for making mango juice again 3 kg 225 gram for making mango shake he made mango shake so and the remaining he ate so you have to find now how much how much mango did he eat okay how much mango the rest he ate how much mango did he eat he he ate the rest mango okay so the rest remaining or the rest means it is minus okay so this is a keyword for minus so minus means you need only two quantity to minus but here you see you have three quantity of measurement 3 kg 225 gram 2 kg 375 gram 10 gram 10 kilogram so there are three measurement okay same thing like d only the explanation so you need only two units for minus but since there are three so you must understand that there is addition also is there so already I told you to find which is to add, which one to add. First you have to find the total. So the total means how much he has bought, isn't it? So that is the total weight. He has bought the total weight. 10 kg he has bought. So from there only he will minus. So for minus one number you have found that is a total total weight. So that is 10 kg. Now the, uh, to find the another two number, another number you have to remaining two quantity you have to add. So this two quantity that is the mangoes he used no the measurement of mangoes he used so that two you add it the answer what you are getting that you minus from the total weight okay let's see Okay, mango juice. He used, Sahil used mangoes for making mango juice. So how much he used mango juice to make mango juice is 2 kilogram 375 gram. So 2 kilogram 375 gram. He used to making mango juice. Again, mango shake. He used, how much he used mango juice? 3, uh, mango shake 3 kg 225 gram. 3 kg 225 gram so this two you have to add you have to plus so let's plus now 5 plus 5 10 so in 10 0 you will write here 1 you will carry here again 1 plus 7 8 8 plus 2 10 so here also 10 so 0 you will write here 1 you will carry here 1 plus 3 4 4 plus 2 6 again here 2 plus 3 5 so he has used 5 kg 600 gram 600 gram of mangoes okay so now how much he ate to find this one he have to minus from the total how much he has bought okay so he bought you have tried he bought how much 10 kg so 10 kg he bought there is no kilogram no gram so you have to put here zero and he used he used the mangoes how much he has used 5 kg 600 gram so here he will write 5 kg 600 gram 
so how much he ate so the rest only he ate so to to find the rest amount you have to minus okay so here you have to do the minus so let's minus here 0 minus 0 0 again 0 minus 0 0 again you cannot minus here you cannot minus here so you have to borrow here also nothing is there so you will all the way you will borrow from 1 so let's borrow here here 0 will remain and this will be 10 after borrowed 1 so this again if you give 1 9 will remain here and this will be 10 ok so from 10 you will minus 6 so 10 minus 6 4 again here 9 minus 5 4 and here 0 only is there so you cannot do anything with 0 so that's all so how much is left is he ate how much mangoes he ate is 4 kilogram 400 gram of mangoes he has eaten okay this is the one he has eaten okay now another thing i wanted to tell with remaining you will do as a homework and here uh, this printed like letters no so this when i was converting again pdf this what i have written like my without my handwriting somewhat it is gone last time okay only it was remaining for uh, two sums you know it, it happened like that and you uh, some of you had submitted two three fellows the same way since it is missing this part is missing so they also did not write they wrote only this statement and they did not write this one without writing this calculation part they have written the uh, <clears throat> written in the copy and submitted okay you have the statement and everything why can't you write by yourself since this part is missing why can't you find it from the uh, even from the video you can look and write in the video everything is there you, you would have looked and written this one you can do by yourself this addition and subtraction why you did not write just you have written the statement and left when we change into pdf i don't know by why it, it it was it got deleted only whatever i have written with my handwriting don't do like that way okay hereafter you <clears throat> if anything is missing you look into the video and write it and complete uh, completely write everything and complete and submit don't submit submit simply as it came in the pdf okay when you write you must understand and write when you understand and write you will not as it is you will not write it write and submit it okay now homework is exercise 3.3 that addition, subtraction and the problem solving, please complete it. Thank you.